I am here at the um, Green Castle Toy and Collectible Show with the uh, Retro Gaming Ghostbusters. Yo. And uh, they've um, given me one of their pet. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, this is not something I can easily do with only two arms. I should have brought my uh, Doc Ock <laughs> costume because I totally have one. Yeah. And, and it works. Yeah. <laughs> and I have a girlfriend who lives in Canada. Yeah. While we're at it, let's get a shot of the proton packs from the back here. And that flashlight helps weigh it down so it doesn't tip over, whereas mine here is always in danger of that happening. And then we got here. Yeah, it seemed a lot more interesting when I was thinking of it. And of course, spare batteries brought by me with a battery tester. Well, this should have been done a little sooner and, uh, oh wait. Um, but um, this time at least I remember the elbow pads. <laughs> Let's see if I remember to bring them to the con. So obviously I went to a toy show, so haul vlog, right? Um, so first of all, we've got the um, Die Cast Metals Hollywood Rides Ecto-1. The, um, the, what scale is this? Um, the bigger than the smaller one that I had already scale. So, um, oh boy. Mm. Got most of the goo gone out of it. And, uh, yeah. Look, it's got... Let's see it back here. Hopefully that's where I open it. Mm. Yeah, that is where I open it, because the front is... Or not. My apologies for the lousy angle, but... Is this? Oh, I think. Oh. Yeah. Something's stuck on something here. You see the tape on the bottom there? <clears throat> uh. Well, I think doing these on my camera is a mistake. I mean, on my phone is a mistake, rather. Might be better if I had a handheld camera that could be easily... Or... I want you... Oh, okay. Mm. And of course, I'll bet... Mm. I think those are screw holes, but something's fastening it down. I have got to find my little pocket knife. I got a pocket knife. Found that, and it's not so little. Oh, my little belt flashlight. Oh no, those are those are Phillips head screws. Hope the holes are big enough to accommodate this. Make up your own innuendo. Nope. Yeah, if you've watched my videos, you've probably seen uh, this already. A little something I got at the Harrisburg Gun Show. One of these, huh? Contact. That one anyway, there we go. Those are some long screws. Again, innuendo. Okay, I'm guessing I managed it now. And while we're at it, let's look at the bottom. We'll get a shot of the bottom anyway. There we go. Yes, work with the uh, aspect ratio, not against it. A lot shorter now. So, <clears throat> another tape here over the... Well, let's, let's just get a look at it first and... Uh, oops, that... No, but... Nice detail here. The one New York. And, uh, well, I accidentally found out the sniffer moves. Well, there's actual, there's actual holes in there, aren't there? Look at that. Yeah. Sniffer, so sniffer can rotate. 360 degrees. Come on, hand, turn invisible. Gee. And might have to turn the light on for this. Oh, oh, there we go. Opens correctly, I think. Um. See in there? Oh, there 
this extra proton pack in there. Nice detail though. Can we see through the window? Not really. But uh, well, we can open the doors. But yeah, hold on. Yeah, just notice the tape goes through the windows, which are empty, both cases here. So that'll make another thing easier. Um, yeah. Let's see, doors open and let's um, get a look inside there. Wait, is it? Yep. Light is on. Okay, I've got some pedals in there. Oh, wow, Sp speedometer. Uh, yep. <laughs> doors don't open that far. Wait, nope, that's about as far as they open. Okay. Yep, jump seat. Oh, yeah. That is nice here. Get inside. <laughs> of course, yeah, rear door is just molded on. But, uh, and of course, let's have a look at the engine. Yep, yeah, that's some sort of engine, all right. Um, get that. I already found this at uh, Walmart, um, but uh, in fact, I got two for, uh, well, we'll see if I need to justify that or not. This is another, oh, great, there's a, so I have to, I have to cut some, yeah, I got to cut some tape again so I can reach the screws so I can get this one off. Um, yeah, only one screw this time. Tidy righty lefty Lucy. Now we know which side Eddie slept on. Eddie never slept. There we go. Britt, if you're watching this, you'll get that one. Uh -huh, there we go. And of course it happened here, so, you know, great framing. Obviously the larger one has more detail. Except for this thing here. <laughs> I would say it's pretty decent. I have really no idea what the bottom of a 1959 Miller Meteor looks like. I'm going to guess that this is more accurate. Okay, no tape this time. Um, also, only the front has um, hollow windows, the others. Of course, only the doors, only the front doors open. Well, let's see. Oh, my. <laughs> can, you, can you see the sniffer here? That's just molded on there. That does not uh, rotate like its um, big brother does. So... Well, it is smaller. Um, again, hey, let's compare the tops. Uh, I guess they felt that this didn't need paint. Or is this one? Can you see them? Okay. Okay, I, I give it some credit. It's got still got pedals. Other door. Okay, can you see there? Uh huh. Did you get the close-up lens? Okay, that's not the best close-up lens, also not the worst. Well, let's see here. Yeah, definitely a sticker, definitely offside. Hmm. You know, I think the close-up lens might work a little too specifically. Yep, I think I'm going to have to do it. Yeah, remember when I said I bought two of these? Yeah, you're about to find out why. Oh, good. There's some screw holes in here, so I might not have to do, uh, well, remember my review of the Hot Wheels, um, vehicles? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh. Okay. So. Um. Yeah, here we got the, the, uh, the front seats here. Yep. Close-up lens. Yeah, much less detailed dashboard. Um, I guess. I guess oh, pedals. Right? Wait, actually, I think the dashboard's a, a separate thing. Okay, we got some of the equipment here. That's not too bad. A jump. Uh, two jump seats. Yep, two jump seats. And I guess here's where the gurney would go. Not much room there. 
Yeah, this one definitely has uh, more space for proton packs. No um, huge wheel well there. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the dashboard. Can you see it? Yeah, it's probably the lack of steering wheel should have been a clue. Uh, oh, boy, this is actually going to require some... Okay, yeah, less detailed dashboard. Got to give him some props. Oh, there's the radio. Hmm. Got to give him some props for having some detail. Yeah. Not going to uh, do this to the big one. You saw enough of the dashboard there. Actually, this might actually fit back together, assuming I can find both screws. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. But not right now, because there's another thing I got. I, this, is the, this is all I got at the uh, toy show proper, but afterwards we went to Kryptonite Toys. Um, let's see, there's a bag, um, no, but it's, it's kind of a Kryptonite color, so that's good enough, right? And I got um, this one here. And whoever put this together, actually it's Bud Dye, right? So maybe this is, for, no wait, Mega, that's, that's why. Uh, because, yeah, if you, um, as you know, if uh, Japanese, well, you, you will know in a moment, when Japanese is written vertically, it's read right to left. So, which means this actually says, uh, Gojira Tai Kingu Kongu, Godzilla vs. King Kong. I remember when I glimpsed it, I thought it was Gojira Tai Kingu Girora, because I just saw the Kingu, and well, I said the Godzilla was first, right? And, well, whatever. Let's see. Will Godzilla win? Will Kong win? And some other stuff. Um, you know, my Japanese isn't the greatest, is there? The the greatest sump, the greatest battle in hit of the century of the world, a century. I think. Doesn't matter. Um, point being, yeah, I think. Um, well, I won't bother to read the whole thing to you, but that's that's entirely too coherent to be uh, actually from Japan. There we go. Can you see it? Him, it, whatever. That's all. Him. Kyoiku Papa, <laughs> or a study nut if you're watching the dub. So let's see, here we got some. Don't know if the box is reusable or not. It depends if I, I can disassemble uh, the big G afterwards. Let's see, Kongo Goji outfit. Mm. I show you the inside of the. I don't think that's a still from the film. This, um, at Osaka Cafe? Not Fuji? Didn't this take place in Osaka? Well, partially. I say part of it took place, and then I think they moved to Tokyo where Mount Fuji is visible. Uh, of course, we got the usual. They just, um, yeah, just have to. Might be easier just to cut them. Ooh. And twist them. My carpal tunnel fingers here. Oh, here's something that needs to be this. This needs to be. Wow, this stuff's strong, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I know I should really do the um, overhead camera thing again with this. Ooh, uh, POV. <laughs> yes. There, maybe more like... What's all the pink showing in both cases? Or is it designed that way? It's because it's... I don't know. I wonder if I should need a heat gun and just very gently... I don't know. <laughs> Knees bend? Uh, Nakajima, summer will miss you. <laughs> okay, this is nice. Um... Can't be put back in the box, unfortunately. Oh wait, can it be? Um... I need to have something. This thing. Uh... Yeah. Well, um, I don't really. I have the Daleks a little too big, and the Gundam. The Gundam. Uh, never mind. It's nice. Um, yep. So more horizontal surfaces filled up, and. Uh... A nice but ultimately a useless um, box. Well, not reusable. Yes, it's, uh, they, you can close the box again, but uh, you can't take the tail off. Well, you can, but I don't want to risk it. Um, 
Maybe I could use a saw. No, no, better not. Okay.